You can also easily insert out images inside of diagrams.net file. So to do that, I'm going to go around and let's bring in a text box. And then I'm going to resize the text box and delete out the text. So over here, when the text typing area is active, over here on the right side, you see the text properties. So all you need to do is click on the image button right here, and then you can uh, add in an image URL uh, that is a web URL, or you can drag in an image over here as well. And then you can uh, also click on open, select out an image and click on open from over here as well. So I'm going to resize the image right here, and you can see that the resized image is inserted out right here. So uh, you can see that now this is within a text box. You can resize the text box as well, move it anywhere you want. And this is the image that is inserted right here. So whenever you're actually going around onto the image option, uh, let's say, for example, if you were to open up an image, you see this option that I that we saw earlier as well. When you insert out an actual image size, what might happen is that it might take up way much more memory, which might cause the application to slow down. Usually when you're making diagrams, you don't need high quality images. So unless you need the actual size image, that is a high quality image, I suggest you to res uh, resize it. And if you always want to use actual size or resize, you can just cl click on remember this setting and then click on one of these options right here. But I'm not going to do that because I always want it to ask whether I want the uh, actual size or the resized image. So this is how you can insert out images inside of diagrams.net. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.